Welcome back, everyone. It's Dear Moby with Kat and Shy. Hey, Shy. Hey, Kat. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You came to the meeting in a shirt. I I did. Again, I would appreciate you labeling the calendar invites as Dear Moby filming time rather than show up in a nice shirt. But uh, besides that, I am excited to be here. I'm glad you're excited to be here. That's what I took away from that. I just, you know, I want you to wear one of your nice shirts. Is that so much to ask? I just want us to look nice for producer Luke. That's all I'm asking. All right. Speaking of producer Luke, we should probably let everyone know that you are the head of social media here at Docker. Uh, Yes. Thank you, Shai. That I am. And that you are our lead DevRel at Docker. (laughs) Senior DevRel, not lead DevRel. It's something I can aspire to. Uh, well, okay, okay. Well, it's all it's all the same to me, but I respect that. I respect that, and I know titles are important, but y- you seem like the lead dev real shy from what I can tell. I have room for career growth. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's showcase that room for career growth with, I don't know, a first question of our episode, our episode two. Are we ready to like hit the people hit back with some knowledge? Hit me. Okay. What do you got? Perfect. All right. So I have the questions here on my phone. And the first one comes from Tierney. Tierney asks. Tierney? Yeah, Tierney. My friend Tierney? Yeah, your friend Tierney. The, the one that I play Destiny 2 with? Yep, the one. The very one. <laughs> All right. Tierney's great. I'm a huge fan. Hit me hit me with their question. What can I do for them? Okay, so Tierney says, what are Docker desktop extensions? And, and I quote, why should I care? End quote. <laughs> This this feels like a low ball question that Tierney is throwing me, but uh, but yeah, Docker uh, Docker extensions are kind of a new thing that we we added to Docker Desktop. The thought process behind them is that we know that you all are using a lot of third party stuff when you're doing development, things like Sneak or JFrog or Slim.ai or, or stuff like that, uh, and we want to be able to make it so you can take those third party tools that you use with your containers and use them from within Docker Desktop. And then we also want to extend the functionality of Docker Desktop so you can do more with it. So if there's maybe some features that aren't there that you want, you can go ahead and build an extension uh, and add them. So, um, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff in this marketplace, uh, things like the disk usage one, which I think I highlighted in our first episode, things like uh, JFrog, where you can go in and if you're using them for image scanning, you know, you can go ahead and scan some images and, and get your security vulnerabilities elevated to you. Uh, and a whole bunch of them in this marketplace as well. And and Kat, I think this gives me a really excuse to jump into our next segment. And I'm going to mix things up from last week, if that's okay with you. Um, It's okay. Like, I think I know what you're going to do, but I'm not entirely sure. But I know it involves your, like, theater presentation voice. So take it away. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and do not only the extension of the week, but we're going to do the tip of the week at the same time. So it's wow. a double feature. Wow. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. So with extensions, you can go ahead and make them on your own too, which I think is really fun. Um, and there are a bunch of them out there that aren't on our marketplace for uh, maybe they, they don't make sense to go up in the marketplace. Maybe they're not that useful. Maybe they're more a fun thing or maybe they're still being worked on. But there are a lot of them out there uh, on Hub and on GitHub that are, that are being used. Uh, maybe you have a friend that's building an extension and you want to try that. So I'm going to teach you how to install third-party extensions that aren't in the marketplace. And to do that, I'm going to share with you one of the extensions made by my coworker, Michael. Michael put together a really fun extension right here. And so this is up on Docker Hub. Anyone can go grab it. Uh, And all you have to do to install it is if we take a look at the Docker uh, extensions SDK and we scroll down to the install section, which I believe I have lost. So uh, let me see if I can find my docs. Here we go. Uh, here's the docs. So all you need to do to install it is Docker install or Docker extension install and then the name of the image up on Hub. So in this instance, it's going to be Michael's username and then Flappy Doc extension. And so I've gone ahead and I've already typed that into my command line. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter uh, and it's going to ask for my permission. Uh, and then we can go ahead and pull the image and we can install it. So this is pretty simple, I think, at least. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there, Shy. Is this yeah. Michael Captain Michael? This is Michael Captain Michael and coworker Michael. I 
know, he's both. He's he's one of the few who have <laughs> crossed the bridge from docker captain to dock hand. Yeah. You know, yeah. Always one though. I feel like you're once a captain, always a captain, you know. <laughs> yep, for sure. Um huh. so yeah, this is his extension that he built. He built uh Flappy, flappy duck, but with Moby and Molly, so it's more flappy dog. Uh, I am awful at it. Uh, you can see my high score has been one, uh, and I played this game seven times. <laughs> maybe you Damn. need Tier. Maybe you need Tierney to come in and like play. Yeah, Tierney is much better at games than I am. <laughs> so Tierney, Tierney would be would be very helpful right now. <laughs> Speaking of being helpful, uh, what's my next question? What do you got for me? All right. So the next question comes from Stack Overflow, and again, I have it uh, pulled up on my phone here as we optimize my studio setup. Shy. So here's the TLDR of this question: How do you okay. de- how do you deploy on Heroku using Docker? The original poster has a Flask server and a database but wants to know what we would recommend. Yeah, so I have the question up here on Stockerflow, the Stack Overflow, um, and I went ahead and answered it uh, in the comments already um, as well, getting into their more specific use cases. But with Heroku, they have their own documentation on deploying Docker images. Um, And what they recommend is instead of using Docker Compose, you kind of modify things a little bit. So they have a heroku.yml file that you can use to define your Heroku app. And in there you can specify, okay, this is where my Docker files live. Uh, I want you to build these and make the images that we're gonna run on Heroku. And you can also specify add-ons. So Heroku has an add-on store that includes things like uh, MongoDB and Postgres and stuff like that. And so you can go ahead and use their versions that they manage of those applications. Something to keep in mind is that they do charge you for each of those add-ons. Um, so it might not make the best sense, but if you are very sure that you're gonna wanna use Heroku, my recommendation is to is to do it with that heroku.yml version. If instead you, you really wanna deploy using Docker Compose, which is kinda of how I prefer to do it, uh, I would recommend taking advantage of a different uh, deployment system. So like do something with AWS or, or um, Azure or, mm-hmm. or one of those folks. And we have a lot of resources on how to how to do those deployments on the Docker documentation. And they have a lot of resources on how to do those on their own documentation as well. Um, but if you're using Heroku, you, you're going to want to keep it just to one image and then take advantage of their, their stuff. Awesome. Well, thanks, Shai. The customization on all of this is very cool. Like seeing all yeah. of the possibilities available across both questions, really. It's pretty cool yeah. to see. Yeah. Well, before I let you go change into a t-shirt, Shy, should we... I'm going to go put my Docker shirt back on. <laughs> of course. Duh. Um, should we uh, do our fact of the week? Fun let's fact do it. of the week? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Who first, Shy? Who first? Oh, okay. So I did some research for your fact. You told me what it was going to be beforehand, uh-huh. uh, and that's that you're an aspiring Diet Coke um, influencer. Yeah, I am. Now, to, to set the stage for our viewers who might not know you particularly well, Yeah. how long have you been drinking Diet Coke and how many Diet Cokes do you typically drink a day? Yeah, been drinking Diet Coke since the ripe old age of like 13, probably in seventh yeah. grade. Um, I remember that day like it was yesterday. And uh, <laughs> ever since then, I've just been chugging them back like it's water, you know? I drink about like at least upwards of four, five, six a day, maybe seven on certain days. I don't really keep track, just at least four or five. So, yeah. That is, that is a lot of Diet Coke. Now, I asked you a rude question before we got started, and that's how much did you weigh? Yeah. Uh, and. Yeah. And I used that information to go ahead and calculate how many Diet Cokes it would take for you to die of a caffeine overdose. So it is possible to die from drinking too much caffeine. Uh, And it would take you 170.1 Diet Cokes in one sitting for you to to have to be worried about uh, caffeine taking you out. Um, that's not morbid at all, but thank nope. you so much for calculating that, Shy. Uh, You're welcome. I, I uh, 
Good, good to know. I don't think even yeah. I could drink that much, but don't put it past me. So I, I'll keep that in mind. Like <laughs> when we leave this, when we leave For this sure. episode. Wow. Well, uh, let's move over to you. Now you can be, you can be the center of attention, Shy. So your lower third is something about being a front squatter. What, what is this jock terminology that I don't know? Yeah, so I recently was able to do a front squat of my own body weight. So when you do a front squat in the gym, you usually have like a little barbell thing, like the long metal pole, and yep. you put weights on it. Uh, and I was able to do one with the same amount of weight that I am uh, as on the bar. So so it was like uh, it was a big achievement for me that I'm pretty proud of. Do you so want to tell? I'm very happy about that. Do you want to tell everyone how much <laughs> that weight is, Shy? You want to tell them all? what that is i figure since i asked you that question it's okay that you asked me that question and and yeah it was 185 pounds so i was really really happy with myself so that, that, that that seems pretty legit and uh cool so you're well at least your fun fact is healthier than my fun fact you know so <laughs> there's that uh speak speaking a bit about things that are healthy it is always healthy to ask for help when you're struggling with anything uh, yeah. And I think this is a great way to ask for help. How do people go about asking us questions, Kat? I'm really glad you asked. So, you know, there's better help for therapy. Love th I love therapy. Uh, but think of Dear Moby with Kat and Shy like your therapy, but for work. Uh, that's what we want you to think of it as. So, yeah, there are plenty of places. <laughs> there are plenty of places you can go to find the submission form. So you'll find it promoted on social, and the link to the submission is also in our Twitter bio. And you'll also find a link to the Dear Moby page in uh, the description below this video. So for Amazing. the yeah, that's where we'll get your questions for the written column as well as our our show here. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to, to finding out what questions people have in the future. I am sure you will be continuing to send me more strange calendar invites. But until then, it's been really fun talking to you this week. Yeah, as always, Shy, it's been real. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye.